Hey Hoodoo Loves, this is Miss Avi. Welcome to my channel, Hoodoo Delish. Everybody who is new here, thanks for joining on, and everybody who is back, great to see you again. Today I am doing my number one most requested video right now. So this is how to dispose of spell work remains. Now, anytime you do a spell, you're probably gonna have something left over. It might be a jar, ingredients, a candle, something. There's gonna be something left behind. That's just sort of, that's sort of normal for this, this type of situation. Now, I do wanna be clear, this is a video on how to dispose primarily of candle-related work. So it's not a good example of how to, for example, put a, a jar away when you've been working it long term or get rid of a packet. Um, this is going to be an example of what to do with the remains of a candle and I wanted to do this one specifically because candle wax is one of those things that does not go away. It, it lasts for a very long time. It's technically not recyclable unless you want to use it for more candles and in my tradition that's not really something that I do with like recycling candle wax. So just a very quick demonstration of what I personally do in a candle working um, when it's time to get rid of the remains. And this does vary on a case-by-case -case basis. Again, there may be parts of a spell you would do something different with. But in general, when you work a candle, you're gonna look at what you've got here, and you've got two different components. As you see here, I've got the beans, the flowers, the different herbs, the powders underneath the candle. All of that is biodegradable. It's perfectly safe to put it in the ground, it's perfectly safe to put it into water. There's nothing poisonous in it. I actually do not work with any products that have you know, toxins, um, artificial chemicals, you know, nothing other than the wax itself. I try to block out anything that would be toxic or dangerous either to me or to the environment. So that's what we're working with at this point. And when I look at this, I say, okay, I've got all these biodegradable things here and I've got the wax in the middle, which I cannot put in the ground. It'll be there for the next millennia. So we don't want to put that in the wax in the ground and we sure don't want to put it in the drinking water. So what I'm going to do, in my tradition, I was always taught that when you consecrate something, when you pray over it, you know, you see me making the sign of the cross and praying over things in other videos. When you do that, you are putting the magic into the item. That is what makes it magical. That is what makes it sacred. And so you can take that back out with a simple prayer. And this is what I typically do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and release this work. I release the magic in this work to do as has been requested. I thank the spirits who helped with this work for all that they did. And I ask that this remnants be made inert and safe to go back into the earth, to go back where they came from. And I ask this in Jesus' name with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. Amen. Very simple prayer. You're praying over it like that. Now what I'm gonna do here is the wax, I'm just gonna throw away. We're just gonna take that off of the plate. Let's see if we can pick it up here. Yeah. We're gonna take that, we're gonna break all the different little pieces that are biodegradable off here. And you don't, you know, you don't have to worry about getting every little piece out. But you're gonna get some of it, the majority of it that you can. And then we're gonna to try to keep the wax itself. As you see here, we got a little more. We're gonna keep that wax itself and that is just going to be thrown out. Okay. All right. And then what you're left here on the plate, this is all biodegradable. This is going to go into my backyard to be buried. This is going to go in the ground. Now these are seeds, these are beans, so you might wind up with bean plants, but this is just plain olive oil on this plate. And other than that, you know, I've picked, there's a few little pieces of wax left in here, so I will pick those out first. But other than that, there's nothing in here that's going to hurt the environment. This can go back into the ground, and then that energy is grounded and planted, and everything has been cleared. So that is the main way that I personally would get rid of something like this. It's very simple, very easy to do, and you can put this into running water if you would prefer, if it's something that's allowed in your area, and if you've got a safe way to do it. Um, the other thing, too, is, and I know I... I am in favor of putting biodegradables into the ground. That is what I believe in. But I also know for some people that may be very impractical. Maybe you live in an apartment, you don't have a yard, maybe you, you know, whatever your situation is, you can't put this into the ground. This can just be thrown away. It can. You've released all the magic from it. There's nothing sacred here anymore. Everything that's left here is simply the remnants. It's like the physical body after the soul is gone. There's nothing left in here. So that is how to dispose of a candle working. Um, I know there are gonna be other questions about how to dispose of different types of work. So I will say one of the big other things that happens a lot is burning um, for packets, for sometimes for this type of thing, for 
uh, even certain types of dolls. There, there would be burning it and releasing the ashes. And you want to make sure if you're going to burn something that there's nothing toxic in it, so that, you know it's not going into the air, and especially so you're not breathing it. But burning would be another way that you can get rid of some of the disposable things like this if you do not want to put them into the ground. But in general, as far as wax goes, the best thing you can do is pray over it, collect it, throw it away, or you can clean it and recycle it and use it if that's what you want to do and create another candle. So anyway, that is my video on the basics of how to dispose of spell work. This is gonna be uploaded to both Facebook and YouTube. If you wanna see more of my work, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash hoodoodelish. You can also find me on my website, which is hoodoodelish.com. And if you wanna email me about this or any other questions about any of my videos or works, I have email at hoodoodelish at gmail.com. Go ahead and shoot me any contact. I love hearing from you guys. And let me know how you guys dispose of spell work. What are your traditions? How were you taught to do this? I absolutely want to hear from you. So go ahead, click that subscribe button. If you like this video, click the bell so you get my updates and share this with a friend if you think it would help them. I love you guys so much and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.